I believe that in any given day, the universe gives you something. Either it's a message, is communicating with you, giving you ideas, or actual things, or events, or experiences. It's like a treat, a special gift, just for you. And today, I believe I received a sort of message. Uh, it's something I've actually heard before, but I rediscovered something. It was It's an old Zen parable about... A man who encounters a, a tiger. And it's funny how I came across this again. I rediscovered this parable because I was looking through random YouTube videos. And I clicked on the King of the Hill, this old cartoon show. King of the Hill, uh, this that live 24-hour streaming thing. And so it was a random episode and I clicked on it. And, and in that episode, I remember watching it years years ago. It's a show back in the 90s. But I remember this episode because they, just, they were explaining that Zen parable where this man encounters a tiger and he runs away from the tiger but he ends up at the edge of, of a cliff and so he, and so he won't be attacked by this tiger he finds this vine at the edge of the cliff and he climbs down this vine and he goes down halfway down the cliff to escape the tiger and he looks up and he sees a tiger waiting for him but when he looks down at the bottom of the cliff he sees another tiger waiting for him and to make things worse, there's these two rats, one black and one white, that are gnawing away at the vine. So there's a tiger on top of the cliff, there's a tiger at the bottom of the cliff, and there's these two rats that are gnawing away at the vine that is saving his life in the moment. And he looks over his shoulder and he sees a strawberry hanging at the edge of the cliff, and he plucks it and tastes the strawberry, and it's the sweetest strawberry he ever had in his life. And... There's different ways to interpret this parable. And the most common way to interpret this parable is that you need to be in the present moment and savor the moment no matter what you're going through. No matter how dire the situation is, you can savor the present moment. That's the common uh, translation of that parable interpretation. There's other ones too where it's the opposite, where some people say, no, it's not about being in the present moment. It's about keeping your mind focus at the task at hand or at the situation at hand and not be distracted by the sweet pleasures that life has to offer you. For example, instead of uh, working on a certain task that you need to do, you sit and watch TV. So that's one way to interpret the, the story, to not get distracted and to keep your eye, um, keep your eye on the prize, so to speak. But in this situation, in the parable, Unless you're a strong enough person who can kill a tiger with your own hands, in that situation, you're doomed either way. So I believe, in my, in, in my belief, the way I interpret the story is that you need to savor the present moment. But also there's another interpretation. I believe that this parable also tells you that the universe will give you something to appreciate in any given moment, no matter how bad the situation may be, even if it's a life and death situation, I believe that the universe will give you something to appreciate, a special delivery, a special gift just for you. And in this parable, the strawberry represents that special gift to that man who's in that situation. He happened to be at that exact spot in the cliff to be right next to that strawberry where he's able to pluck it and taste it and savor it. And to me, that tells me that no matter what you're going through, if, if you're going through something that's stressing you out, if you're going through money or financial worries or uh, family or friend, drama, whatever it may be, no matter what the situation may be, no matter how dark it may seem, there's always something in that moment that you can appreciate that the universe is giving specifically to you and to help you feel better. And another way to interpret this story, it also reminds me of something that I learned from Abraham Hicks, where you can milk the situation, no matter how small it may be. If you can be grateful for something, milk it. Because when you milk that situation, you will raise your vibrational frequency. You will start to feel better. Your emotional state will be, will be better. You'll be able to uh, be a lot more efficient in the way you think, in the way you perform actions. You'll be able to... Uh, Keep your eye on the prize and continue on manifesting desires and accomplishing goals. And when you get distracted by something negative going on in your life, uh, it, you'll lose focus. You, you'll, lose, uh, you'll start to think that everything in your life is, is miserable. So those are all the different interpretations. And 
this is something that helps me to remember to be in the present moment and to savor all the good things that the universe is giving to me. And if I am going through something that happens to stress me out or bring me down, I remember this parable because no matter what I'm going through in any given moment, there's something that the universe is giving to me that I can appreciate, even if it's really, really small. And when I do find it, I milk it. I appreciate it and I let that help me raise my vibrational frequency.